Ladies and gentlemen. You got to be crazy. That's me. You gotta have a real me. Gotta sleep on your toe. I've been asked by many of folks to do a little bit of a uh, I'm gonna try to teach. This is the classroom from another planet. Hey, no, on all seriousness, um, with this Timco thing, Timco, that broken, that broken thing there. I'm making plans, okay, and I always plan ahead of time. Many, many days, weeks, months, I've been doing this a long, long time. And I'm going to kind of show you what I'm, 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 I'm going to do. Because you saw it in the video when we put it together. I actually used, let's see if I can draw. Jack of all trades, master of none. So we had the machine there. Oh, I used the boom. Kind of a, you know, to put it back together with the grapple there. And in this case, and we, what we did was we blocked underneath the, the frame here. I don't know if you can see that. Under the frame. And so what we're going to do in the shop situation here, I'm going to try to take you step by step through it. You're looking at my good side in. So what we're going to do here in the shop is we're going to precisely do the same thing I did to get it out in the woods, but in reverse. Okay, so I got that all hammer or that pigeons, you know, slobbered together just to make it into the shop. And so what I'm going to do is, I'll show you the front half in a bigger picture here. You know, under the house they call that the front. Here's where it's broke. Big bearing. Okay. What I'm going to do is we're actually going to, we've got a cart. A small cart with some really heavy duty wheels on it. And what we're going to do is just shore that up again. We're out in the woods, or out in the, in the yard we did it, we didn't have to move the front half, which is the house with the boom on it. So in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to shore that up. Here's the back half. And I'm not going to mess with the bolts. I'm not going to try to take the bolts out from the inside. Because all I gotta do is take the torch and torch what I welded. There's that much gap there now. So all I gotta do is whop and have that supported. Obviously, we're gonna have the back end supported here. And then we're gonna get into that monster because we've already proved it out down in the log yard. We're gonna get in the old monster, start it up, lift the boom off of the back end because it will support itself. I proved that in that earlier video. I didn't know if it was going to support itself or not, just being blocked there, but there's so much of a counterweight and so much weight in the back end, that's what's going to happen. I'll guarantee it because that's what I'm going to do. So then what we'll do is we will basically Ooh, draw some pictures. We will drive him with a man up in the cabin. We will have him push forward on the foot feed and we will, first of all, back up a second. We're going to take off that cylinder, the, the frame lock cylinder, and uh, we're going to pull all the lines out and we're going to cap all the lines that are going through this intersection. Because I want about four feet between the two halves. Four feet, at least. For me to work. So then we're going to get the old torch. Then we're going to come over here. You know, we're going to blaze. And then we're going to have fire. Woo! We're going to have a good old time. But we're going to torch that off, and then we'll be able to just take the impact and pull the bolts out. Um, it's pretty much that straightforward. It's time-consuming, shoring it up, getting everything ready, getting it all safe. 
you have to make sure you have your your jack stands we have 10 tonners around the adjustable kind and, and so this back end like I said will be stationary ain't gonna go nowhere and because we don't want we don't want anybody underneath here laying here you know um, getting crushed Always the most important thing in the world is don't you know always be safe but anyways that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna be able to just drive it apart and I'll try to for all you guys that want to see it well let's go into that I might as well do it while I'm filming all right so that looked like a hangman didn't it so the next question is going to be to you guys, oh, or there's going to be questions on there. It's going to be, how, what are you going to do? How are you going to do that? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to get the, you know, the Q&A of why did you do it this way? And why don't you do it that way? Because I'm doing it my way and that's the way it is. Don't like it? Turn it off. Um, I've learned over the years that I can be that way. Yeah. It's my turn to teach and your turn to sit back and watch and listen. Um, so we've got this plate on the end of the frame that is already half broke off. Okay, here's your is broke somewhere in about here. So what I'm going to do, and I've got it uh, pigeon crap welded together back here on this side is where it broke, and down here it welded it broke on this side. So basically, to get it back to, to square and parallel, I'm going to have to trim the rest of this off. So we're going to cut. We're going to cut as straight as we can, straight down the end of that frame. That's going to go bye bye, all of it. And I don't know if you guys can pick it up in the video or not, but the the plate the that part of the frame has already been double plated, so that's going to suck trying to torch through two plates, but whatever, half of it's broke off, so it won't be too bad. Um, then, okay, so I got that, once we get that squareness established, there's the top of the frame. What I'm going to do, typical to all of you guys should know this, that, that well, but So let's see, we're about an inch thick there on the frame. And all you know, it's going to be a bugger to get inside of there and, and weld. So what I'll do, they've got plenty of room on the outside. They've got quite a lipstick and all. So with anything, it's going to be a, with me, it's a full pen weld. So it is going to be, how are we going to do that? Show you a cross section. Basically, this is going to be your frame, about well, one inch. That's going to be your cross section of the frame when I get done prepping and grinding this in the plate that they gave me to replace it with. It comes down and protrudes out like so. Now this is just a cross section. So from here, all the vertical welding I can do from the outside is going to be 100%. 100%. Multiple pass. All the way up. And then when I get to the other part, down inside where the drive line is, there I can reach my arm in and I can do a... a it'll probably be a, a reverse of what you're just seeing there. I will have the groove on the inside and lay 100% weld around the outside, excuse me, around the inside. 
but that's how it's going to go and I see there's some extra structural stuff that they had put on there that I'm going to have to take off but just in this type of an instance I don't have the sub arc that they had in the factory I don't have a positioner I got to do what I do and being like I said already they have a, they have a plate married onto here somebody already did so they've double thickness this frame going forward so I'll have to get that nice and clean and I will be attaching then actually all the way out to both plates so it's going to be a it's going to be a lot of welding it's going to be fun um, and I know like I said some of you guys mentioned that you wanted to come along for this and and to see how I'm going to do it and I'm going to try to make a series of these step by step for you youngers youngins so we can keep you in the loop and learn something because you know we need some youngins to take over this stuff because we're all all of us guys are getting old and uh, older and we got to pass it on so basically you get my point I guess let me get some better light you'll get my point Oh yeah, you'll get the picture right here. So basically all this booger snot's got to come off of there. But here, I'll just torch through it. Here uh, I may end up carving arc and I may end up doing something, but all the way to this, this somebody put a reinforcement plate all the way across. Um, so this has to get cut and squared up, beveled back here we got to get a full pen weld in there. This top plate is also very important. So we will basically just got to get it square again. Just eliminate all this crap and get everything back to virgin metal. It's going to be a chore just to do that, to get it ready to go. It, 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 technically for any of you guys that, that already weld, the worst part of welding is, is the uh, prep work. You know that it's it's always the prep work that gets in the it it's the dirty sh that's the dirty part of the job is the prep work but that's the most important part of the job so if you're doing this kind of stuff you want to put your name on it and you want to stand behind it then damn it your prep work better be good don't lazy out on the grinder and say oh that's good enough and leave a bunch of slag in the corner and cover it up for well that 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 doesn't cut it. going to go to where I've been and what I've done but I've done enough crap and I've got burned burned myself enough times with that kind of attitude it doesn't pay so do it right the first time and you'll never have to do it again the pins will break next time or something like that and then it's not your fault so part one episode one that's where we're going to start so I hope you guys all follow along I thank you all for watching I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've had coming to the channel um, it's been great uh, yeah it's just it, it's just it's been great keep watching and, and keep following and we'll go through this together you know because it's gonna be fun mr. Rogers neighborhood won't you be my neighbor all right, enough of me and my crap. It'll just get better from here on out. So, all right, thanks, guys. We will talk to you later. Over and out, and have fun, whatever you're doing. Thanks again. See you, bye. <laughs>